Now that you know all about the PE requirements, let's see how you can fulfill them. In this video, we'll talk about the two routes of the CPA journey, the pre-approved program route, PPR, and the experience verification route, EVR. But what is PPR and EVR? Think of it as two different routes to the same destination, except that destination is obtaining your CPA designation. Meet Alice and Jason. They are both enrolled in the CPA program and will be reporting their PE requirements. They are two different people and have thus chosen different yet equally rewarding routes for their CPA journey. Alice, a recent university graduate, was hired into the PPR route. Imagine that you're traveling. Rather than exploring a new destination on your own, you join an organized tour. Every day of your tour, you know exactly what you're doing, what sites you'll be visiting, what meals you'll be eating, and who your tour guide is. Alice works at an accounting firm in a program pre-approved by CPA Ontario. This means that the tasks she's assigned and the competencies she must develop have been pre-approved by CPA Ontario to meet the PE requirements in 30 months. When Alice begins working in the PPR, her employer will assign her a mentor. Alice must set up her profile in PERT by indicating her employment in the program and who her mentor is. Once her employer confirms her enrollment, this will automatically set her PER start date and she can begin capturing her experience in PERT. She must track her development to the approved technical competency areas and document her enabling competency development in PERT. Jason, on the other hand, chose to travel off the beaten path and explore a more scenic route on his journey to become a CPA. He wants to have more flexibility over his PE and selected EVR. Jason has been working as a financial analyst for a large telecommunications company. Before setting his per start date, Jason must first check with CPA Ontario to see if his job allows him to begin reporting. He does this by submitting a pre-assessment request in PERT. Once he receives the green light, Jason can choose his own mentor, either in his company or within his professional network. If needed, CPA Ontario can also assist with this process. Once he has indicated his mentor in PERT, his PERT start date will be automatically set and he can begin capturing his experience in PERT. Jason must document his work experience in PERT and report it to CPA Ontario for assessment. More on this later. One of the benefits of this route is the flexibility to go at your own pace. You have to spend a minimum of 30 months to develop your technical and enabling competencies. But if it takes you longer than 30 months, then that's okay too. Both Jason and Alice must be mindful of the deregistration timelines to complete the PE requirements. We hope that you now understand the difference between PPR and EVR. Please remember, both routes carry equal weightage towards the CPA designation. You can choose either route or a combination of both based on your preferences. Up next, PERT and reporting to CPA Ontario.